Hi, this is Jeff Howald. Today, we're going to learn how to read banjo tablature. Tablature is a much easier way of learning to play the banjo than standard music notation and is the form which you'll mostly find in books. Tablature consists of five evenly spaced lines. These are represented in measure one. You will notice to the left of each line is a number from one to five. The first line would represent notes played on the first string, which is right here. Second line, second string. Third line, third string. Fourth line, fourth string. And fifth line would be the fifth or shortest string. Once you've determined what string you're going to play by determining the line then we need to determine what fret we're going to play. So let's go to measure two. We'll notice that the first note would be the first fret not noted or open. The next note would be the first string, first fret. Then we have the next note, which is the first string, second fret. And then we have the first string, third fret. Continuing to measure three, we have the third string open or not noted, third string first fret, third string second fret, and the third string, third string third fret. Tablature will also tell you which finger to use of the right hand. We have either the thumb, the index finger, or the middle finger. In the next example, you will notice that we're playing the fifth string open, and this is measure four, by the way, using the thumb of the right hand. The next note would be the third string. Once again, there's a zero there, so it's open. Played with the index finger of the right hand. And the last example would be the first string, once again open, this time played with the middle finger of the right hand. Going to measure five, we see the fifth string open, played with the thumb. Then we see the second string first fret noted with the index finger of the left hand. And then the first string second fret, it's the third note, played with the middle finger. The fingering above these notes, which in the case of the first string second fret is an R, that shows you what finger of the left hand to use. Going back one note to the second string first fret, you'll notice that we're telling you to use the index finger of your left hand. So you'll have either index, middle, ring, or little finger. Sometimes we will play more than one note at a time. In measure six, we notice we're playing the first string open and the fifth string open at the same time. This is called a pinch. You'll notice we're using the middle finger of the right hand and the thumb. The next, next example would be playing the first string, second string, and third string at the same time using the middle, index, and thumb. In this section, we'll show you how to notate slides, hammer-ons, pull-offs, and chokes. We're going to play these, but we're not going to instruct you on how to actually do them. We're just going to show you how it's notated. Measure 7 would show a slide. In this case, you'll notice a couple things. First of all, we're starting with the second uh, fret, the second fret, or the third string second fret. and We play that note, and then we're sliding. Okay, now once again, we're not, purpose of this video is not to show you how to do a slide, but to show you what the notation is. So you'll see a kind of a crescent going from the two to the four with an S on top of it. S means slide. And you'll also notice that there are two notes there, but there's only one indication of it being played with the thumb of the right hand. So here we go. So that's a slide. We'll go to measure eight and play a slide from the second fret to the third fret on the third string. So third string second. Once again, you'll notice we're playing one note with the thumb. You'll notice that between the two and the three on the tablature, there's an S. 
and there's also a crescent moon looking thing. The next technique which will be shown is a hammer on. Once again we're playing the string one time but getting two notes and you'll notice in this case we're on the second string second fret and we play it one time with the thumb and then get the uh, next note by hammering down. And you'll also see that there's an H above the crescent. Another hammer-on sign, which would be in measure 10, would be going from an open string to a, to a fretted note. So in this case, we're playing the uh, four strings, as it says, with a thumb, and then we're hammering on to the second. And once again, there's an H above the crescent. The next thing to be notated in tablature would be a pull-off. In this case, we're pulling off on the third string, starting with the third fret, to the second fret. And once again, we won't show you this technique, but basically what's happening is we play the string, as you can see, with the thumb, according to the tablature. You play the note, and then you lift off, and there's a P above the crescent. Now we go to measure 12, and you see a 10, which is the 10th fret on the second string, with a squiggly line on top of it. You'll also notice that we're going to be playing this with the index finger. Now the way you do a choke is you play the note and you push up. Sometimes you'll use two fingers of the left hand just to give you more strength. Anyway, that's a choke. We're going to do a little test to see how good you are at reading tablature by playing a few of the common roles that you see when you're playing bluegrass banjo. Okay, let's go to measure 13 and do a little test. This is a pattern which actually happens to be called a forward and backward roll. And I'm going to play it real slow and you can test yourself to make sure you understand how the tablature goes. So the first note is the fifth string open, then we do the third string open, first string open, fifth string open, first string open, second string open, third string open, first string open. And here's what it sounds like a little faster. One, two, three, four. Okay, repeat that several times and see if you can play it like the tablature. The next test measure is number 14. And what we have here is an alternating thumb roll. And the first note would be the third string open, played with the thumb. Then we have the second string open, played with the index. Fifth string open, played with the thumb. First string with the middle. Third string open, played with the thumb. Second string open index. Fifth open thumb and first open with the middle. Notice in these exercises we're not noting any notes on the fretboard. So here's what the alternating thumb sounds like. One, two, three, four. Well hopefully this has solved any questions or mysteries that you had regarding how to read tablature. The next step would be to learn some songs, and of course we recommend the banjo primer. One thing we haven't discussed today is the timing, and most people actually get the timing because when they buy a book, most books have some kind of a source that plays the tune, and you can pick up the rhythm and the timing from the audio. Well, good luck. See you next time.